With your look around the Air Force, I'm Staff Sergeant Benjamin Cooper. The Department of the Air Force rolled out a $194 billion combined 2023 budget proposal for the Air Force and Space Force. The proposal includes a $20.3 billion increase over last year's request. Officials say they need to boost spending to modernize the services to better confront China and an array of national security threats across the world. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall says the request balances immediate needs with investments to modernize capabilities to deter and, if necessary, defeat future aggression by China or Russia. Included are funds for modernizing the aging ground-based nuclear deterrent, continued development of the B-21 bomber, and money for hypersonic weapons. The proposal now goes to Congress where it will be analyzed and debated. Under Secretary of the Air Force Gina Ortiz-Jones reaffirmed the service's commitment to providing support for airmen, guardians, and their families as proposed state laws and legislation stand to affect the LGBTQ community in different ways. Jones says the health, care, and resilience of personnel and their families is essential to accomplishing the mission and she is closely monitoring legislation changes to mitigate effects to service members and their families. The Department of the Air Force has several free resources available to help navigate new and existing local laws including medical, legal, and assignment relocation support. The Thunderbirds are ready to accomplish their mission to recruit, retain, and inspire while demonstrating the capabilities of the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The United States Air Force Demonstration Squadron at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, also known as the Thunderbirds, are certified to begin their 2022 season. General Mark Kelly, commander of Air Combat Command, awarded the certification after the Thunderbirds completed a rigorous four-month training ahead of schedule. And that's your look around the Air Force.